Yo, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another Madden 22 online CFM game. We are now in week 5 of the 2021 season here in the Premier Madden League. It's been a very up and down start so far for our Houston Texans, and well that balances out to a 2-2 two two record. We have a team that's also struggling so far this season. Next up, the New England Patriots. They are 1-4, and four, and quarterback play is really hindering them. Mac Jones not having a great start to his rookie campaign, and it's so bad that the Patriots are one of the heavy favorites to land Deshaun Watson. So yeah, this is part two out of three of the Deshaun Watson trade talk saga. Part one, we talked about the Detroit Lions and how that deal fell apart. Well, the Patriots are really pushing to get Watson. They're offering at least two first round picks and trying to throw a young player or two in there as well. And we'll have to see, do we want to trade Deshaun Watson in the conference? If so, the Patriots might be the team. He's not here now as we are underway with 1-4 Patriots versus 2-2 two two Texans. But after this game, Deshaun Watson could be going to Foxborough as Nico Collins gets the reception. Of course, our quarterback, Davis Mills. And our free safety for years to come, Justin Reed. You guys saw that, right? Justin Reed has been re-signed to a new, I think, six-year deal as Davis Mills. Good pocket. Gets it away at the last second and throws a Wobbler to Antonio Cowboy, so an early third down and four upcoming for Mills play action. Once again, pocket is solid. Mills backing up, hit as he throws, and that's a wobbler again. That's easily going to be picked off. That is Stefan Gilmore on the interception, so early on the rookie not quite processing the field quick enough for us and uh, feeling the pressure from Matthew Judon especially as the ball is on the ground here James White coughs it up picked up by Zach Cunningham not sure that's a fumble but for right now we have the ball at the 10 yard line pending the booth review and I don't think there's too much drama to this one that was not a fumble by James White so it's a third down and eight instead for Mac Jones and the Patriots offense could this be Mac Jones's last game as a starter maybe not if he's making throws like that Philip Dorsett in the corner move the chains next play and they'll fake the run they'll go to Aguilar in stride beating Bradley Roby all the way to the eight as Damian Harris gets the handoff Harris the main man in New England trying to run that ball but they'll go to James White on second down and White will find the end zone and the Patriots stuck in an early predicament third down and eight but they get the big conversion and otherwise make it look easy on our Texans this could be a sound the alarm game if we don't play well against the Patriots then we might seriously have some issues with our Texans at the very least we gotta play a competitive game against these guys because they're one and four entering this day but it could be a long day if we cannot figure out their defense this is quite easy that's Brevin Jordan wide open and Jordan Mickey moves, throwing down Duggar, and finally ridden out the 19-yard line. Those are the kind of plays we really need. Nico Collins on the reception, maybe for a yard. Second down and nine. Here's Davis Mills backing up, looking, looking. Protection is solid. Mills is going to take off, and no way he gets that first down unless we take a hit. So it's third down and inches. Lindsey is the back. We'll go to him, and Philip Lindsey should have the first down. He does good blocking up ahead, especially by Brevin Jordan. As we go to Chris Connolly on the RPO on first down and goal, and Connolly get some nice yardage let's see if we could pound this in we're gonna go no huddle on second down Lindsay the back he'll go up the middle and he'll be untouched in four six so a nice response from our offense after a pretty lackluster first drive and Hopefully, you know, we can feel our way into this game. We got to a slow start, but, you know, we also were very close to getting a third down stop on the Patriots' first drive of the game. I kind of misplayed that corner route a little bit. So, you know, hopefully we can catch ourselves in a little bit of a rhythm here and make this more competitive than uh, what looked like was going to be a one-sided game as uh, Damian Harris making the reception out the backfield. Second down, Harris on the run, driven backward by Zach Cunningham. One of the star players on this defense, despite being like a 78 overall, is James White on third down and nine. No way that's going to fly. Nice tackle by Terrence Mitchell and a three and out by the Patriots. Very conservative drive right there, especially that third down play. And, I mean, hey, we'll take that stop. You know, you can see signs of why the Patriots are one and four, right? And we can see a window of opportunity for us to push, right? This is not exactly a game against the Buffalo Bills that we had last week where the Bills were really playing well, uh, you know, on both sides, running the ball well, passing it well. This Patriots team, they got a little bit of crack, so... 
you know, we got to exploit that while we can as we go to Philip Lindsay. And you saw that right. Adrian Peterson was on the field. We have recently signed Adrian Peterson to our squad as third down. Davis Mills, nice read, finding Callaway for the first down. Antonio Callaway to the 33-yard line. And Callaway starting to become a bigger part of this offense the past couple of weeks after also being signed from free agency, just like Adrian Peterson. Nice battling for extra yards there by David Johnson. He'll make it a third down and one. We're going to go no huddle here. We'll stay with the gun tight. And Davis Mills dropping back. Four-man rush, not getting home before Mills can fire to the rookie Nico Collins. And Nico Collins making a couple of receptions early on in this game as well as Lindsey trying to fight, trying to get his second rushing touchdown. He won't get a chance here because Davis Mills has the ball and Mills is down. Matthew Judon has been working over our right tackle and he finally got one there. As, oh, Mills hit as he throws, looking for Nico Collins. And we, oh, it looked like we might have actually had a chance as the field goal was up and good by Kaimi Fairbairn to give us the lead outright, but it looked like we actually had a chance to connect with Nico Collins, but once again, it was Matthew Judon battling through a double team that got a hand on Davis Mills and affected the throw, so... Yeah, that's an issue for us. We're double teaming Judon. It still doesn't matter. So uh, pass protection, you know, starting to break down a little bit after it looked like it would be solid. Third down and six. Let's see if we can get a stop on Mac Jones. Midway through the second quarter. Nice throw. Nice catch. Michael Gallup. Yes, that Michael Gallup from the Dallas Cowboys. The Patriots traded for Gallup. I believe they traded a second round pick for Michael Gallup. Tried to add a weapon for Mac Jones to throw the ball to since, as we know, the Patriots offense, especially in Madden, they're slow. They don't really got much going on. Third down and Nothing going on here. Mac going to try to buy some time, maybe run for himself, and he's not even going to get close. Yeah, that's going to be an easy stop. Mac Jones, not, not too mobile out there. Not mobile enough to get by Grugier Hill, as far as I know, as uh, we have Smith returning punts. So we switched up our returners here. You see Smith as well as Trenton Cannon returning kicks and punts for us, respectively. Some wildcat from Philip Lindsay on first down, getting a lead block from Adrian Peterson. And AP seeing some limited snaps. We're using all three of our running backs and even Davis Mills on the option. Davis Mills for the first down and all the way to the 46. Big gain as we go to the two-minute warning. Looking for a huge gain, and we've got it. It's Nico Collins nearly getting his first career touchdown one yard away. And that takes us to the two-minute warning. And the next play, it's Davis Mills in 4-6. Quick work of this Patriots defense that is absolutely stacked because Stephon Gilmore is on this team. This is before Gilmore got traded to the Carolina Panthers. We're using week one rosters. So Gilmore is there as well as Jonathan Jones, McCordy, uh, J.C. Jackson all in that secondary. Mac hit as he throws and it's picked off. It's Desmond King, number five on the season already for Desmond King. And for an upcoming free agent, Desmond King is playing like he deserves not only a new contract, but a big new contract. We still haven't decided whether we're re-signing him or Philip Lindsay. Second down and nine. Davis Mills just get that ball away. Patriots stampeding all over as we have a third down and long for Mills. This is kind of field goal range, but we want this first down. Collins on another reception nearly gets it. Oh, but he's going to be a little bit short. Fourth down and in inches. No huddle. Once again, staying that gun tight, but... Now we switch it up using a lot of this play clock here. Not ideal as we run it with Davis Mills and Mills on the keeper gets the first down as we call our first timeout of the half. So, I mean, at this point, we got to get seven after risking that, right? As we go to Brandon Cooks outside. At the very least, what we can do is just make sure this is the last drive of the half, right? Not kicking the field goal there on fourth down. Mills late on the throw eventually finds Brevin Jordan, but if we hit that one in time, we probably could have got the first down. That could cost us here because now it's third down and two. Oh, Mills just gets it off, but it seems like we're getting some easy throws underneath here that's working for us. We're not going to use that second timeout yet. Time continues to take 23 seconds and counting remaining. We're going to stay in the same formation. Davis Mills once again with the quick fire underneath. Patriots just bleeding easy yards. And, I mean, that's the best way for our Texans offense to move the ball. Thank you very much. Tebow's in the game on second down and two. Tim Tebow's going to run the ball up the middle, not get much. And that's going to cost us our final timeout. So that play call absolutely backfires. And now we have to be careful. And we're doing anything but being careful. Mills got him. Jordan makes the catch. Brevin Jordan into to the end zone once again Brevin Jordan scoring touchdowns with ease but that was anything but easy because he had to make a tough catch in traffic we spread it out on third down just gonna try to get a quick fire into the end zone and thankfully Brevin Jordan made that catch and thus Patriots is gonna run the ball once we're gonna go into halftime and looking pretty good with a 17 point lead as we go to the halftime show 
Welcome to the Halftime Show, where today we start off with the Philadelphia Eagles finding their rookie Devontae Smith against the all-star running back Christian McCaffrey of the Carolina Panthers. Carolina actually entered this game winless, but you couldn't tell by the way they played today, but the Eagles were not going to go away quietly. Over 400 yards passing on the day for Jalen Hurts, including that touchdown. Check out Dan Arnold, who apparently cannot be tackled in the open field. Carolina looking to extend that lead, but not for long. An immediate answer back from Miles Sanders, 82 yards on the back shoulder. Next drive, it's Jay, Jay, Ortega, Whiteside, and the Eagles have the lead. But now we fast forward to the final play of the game. Fourth down at the one. McCaffrey's got the ball. Oh, he's still going, and he's in. It's a touchdown. Christian McCaffrey with the walk-off. That was Oh, so close, but Carolina will get their first dub in spectacular fashion. As we go to the rest of the action this week, we got the Kansas City Chiefs and the Buffalo Bills on Sunday Night Football. Dawson Knox getting sticky, getting icky, and into the end zone. Buffalo looking to rally the troops in this one, but too much speed from Kansas City. They'll be the first team to knock off the Bills, both the Chiefs and the Bills. Now four and one. Oh, Trey Lance, his first career NFL star, comes against this stingy Arizona Cardinals defense. Defense. They get the pick six later on. Oh, Lance is going to do it again. This time he goes to Byron Murphy. And the Arizona Cardinals are going to get their first dub of the season. So we got a couple of 0-4 teams turning it around in week five. As we've got the Chicago Bears not looking too good. But at least they'll get this touchdown to Brashad Perriman. Still not looking good in the fourth quarter. But Derek Carr makes a major mistake. The pick, it goes for six. Suddenly the door is open. And Justin Fields is looking to march through the rookie rolling got him in the corner a catch a touchdown Demir Bird for the win what a comeback slash collapse whatever you want to call it it happened that's a Chase Claypool touchdown flag on the play doesn't matter it's roughing the Steelers can they get their first one of the season no not even close Drew Locke six touchdowns on the day three passing including this one to Judy and three rushing as well let's go to the London game the New York Jets and oh, Cordero Patterson turning, twisting for the touchdown for the Atlanta Falcons across the pond. A lot of action, but it was a lot more New York Jets on this day. Whoop! Michael Carter and Zach Wilson, a dynamic rookie duo, getting the Jets to a 3-2 and two record. Can the New York Giants pick up a dub as well? It's looking good early on. That's Darius Slayton with the speed, but... Dak's got an answer for that. Anything you can do, I can do better. Cedric Wilson's got the touchdown. Cowboys ultimately get the victory. Now we go to Aaron Rodgers, late in the half. Downfield, double that man. Devontae Adams is on fire. Please double that man. That's going to get the Packers to a 5-0 mark. Derrick Henry, he's on fire. He's got the touchdown with just 18 seconds remaining. The King reigns supreme. And that stands true in this game as well. Sweaty Bears guy slash Sweaty Colts guy with the interception with the touchdown. The Colts, they stay undefeated. And finally, we go to Tua Tonga Bailoa downfield to Will Fuller, who had a monster game against the Buccaneers, getting the Dolphins their second victory of the season. And we return to NRG Stadium to check out the Patriots getting the ball to start the second half. But our Texans went on an absolute run, 24 unanswered after a very uneasy start to the game where we threw an interception and then gave up a touchdown. It's been all Houston since. Mac Jones under siege and cannot quite make a play, can't get somebody open, can't run away from the pressure. So it's third down and 13 after the throwaway. Mac underneath looking for Janu, but a nice tackle by once again Desmond King. And on fourth down and three, that's a punt, that's a three and out. And Really not what the Patriots needed down by this much. And with the way our offense is starting to gain momentum in this game as Chris Connolly trying to make some moves. You see we're using a number of different receivers. Nico Collins, Connolly, Callaway, and of course Brandon Cooks. I haven't really said Brandon Cooks' game too much, uh, name too much in this game so far. As David Johnson in a battle with Duggar. Who can get the stop? Who can get the first? Duggar is going to win that battle. So we're going to punt the ball right back to the Patriots and a couple of rushing plays not exactly going our way there and yeah you can see why we don't run the ball too often with this team right I try to give David Johnson a chance to fight for that one and 
Uh, looked like we might have had the blocks there, but a great tackle there by Kyle Duggar. So Patriots, a uh, window of opportunity is open, and Damian Harris trying to take advantage, but I believe that was Gary and Connolly that tried to shut the door as Nelson Aguilar on the sweep. He'll go the wrong way. Once again, Desmond King making the tackle. Desmond King is all over the field, man. Highly impressive as Mac just gets that away. Lucky to not get grounding there. Thrown in the area of the running back, but once again, a third down and long for a Patriots offense. Not built to make these kind of conversions, and our pass rush is starting to to awaken Mac Jones under pressure and throws the ball away one more time and this Patriots offense is really struggling in this game and the odd thing is we haven't really seen the Patriots run the ball too much because we've seen the past couple of weeks how our rush defense bleeds yards and you would think the Patriots with their offensive line would absolutely shred us there but not too much Damian Harris in this game third down and nine for Davis Mills five wide once again getting away from the pressure Mills feeling the heat throws it to David Johnson and uh, not even going to be close to a first down there that was just more of a avoid the sack kind of play so yeah, defense is the name of the game right now. Now you see this Patriots uh, defense starting to, you know, lock down. They got a lot of talent out there. We don't have too much on the other end. And Mac Jones with the slowest seven-yard scramble you'll ever see as the Patriots go play action on second down. But the blitz is in. Mac hit incomplete. Third down and three. They'll fake it again. Mac Jones with time underneath. Got Janu Smith for the first down. Look at the blocks. Janu on the run. It's Roby who will eventually fight to make the tackle, but a quick hitter for the Patriots. Oh, man, I thought we had a good defensive play there, but, you know, we had the blitz. We just didn't get to the quarterback for some reason, and now all of a sudden, it's a goal to go for the Patriots who are starting to sniff a chance to win this game. If Mac can make a play, but Mac is spilled down to the ground. Zach Cunningham with a good performance in this one. One more time, play action in the corner. Late and nearly intercepted, but a nice swat nonetheless by Gary and Connolly to not give Gallup a chance to make a play on the ball, and the Patriots get the field goal. They make it a two-touchdown game, but I mean, at this point, the way the Patriots offense is moving right now, you know, it just feels like they've only had two big plays in this game so far, maybe three. They've really been struggling to go downfield, and uh, that's not going to help our Texans, who also haven't had many big plays in this game. We get a nice catch for Nico Collins, but our star tackle, Laramie Tunstall, gets called for holding, unfortunately, so bring it back. First down and 20. Brandon Cooks is going to get all the yards in, then some. Cooks trying to get stick in the open field. About time we call Brandon Cooks' his name as we go to the fourth quarter, badly looking for some points on this drive. Just going to try to eke away with a victory here. Davis Mills! losing the ball on the ground and picked up by Christian oh man that could have changed the game but thankfully we at least get the recovery third down let's try to convert Mills middle oh looking for Nico Collins but ah uh, just sailed that pass a little bit if Davis Mills puts that one on the money we can possession catch that one with Nico Collins and uh, probably get that first down uh, you know we asked Nico Collins to do a little bit too much there Nico Collins having the best game of his young career as we have a second down and a nice punt by the way puts the Patriots in a sketchy position here down by 14 805 remaining in regulation third down Mac Jones watch out oh he put his hands in the cookie jar he's not gonna get away with it and Desmond King is in for six again Desmond King the master of return touchdowns that's number three on this season and they've all been at opportune times well one of them was against the Carolina Panthers when we were just trying to recreate the game but remember Desmond King was the one that got that pick six when we were playing against the Cleveland Browns when Baker Mayfield was trying to drive so yeah Desmond King very opportunistic in this defense has returned half of his interceptions for touchdowns and once again playing for a new contract and uh, it's gonna be hard to not pay that man Desmond King Philip Lindsay on the other hand still gotta wait and see what we're gonna do with him as Hunter Henry making the reception here so Hunter Henry trying to give the Patriots some life here and some life taken out of Kevin Pierre and Lewis injuries continuing to pile up especially at the linebacker position for us Christian Kirksey's already out Kevin Pierre Lewis in his place is also banged up, so um, we don't really have much depth, but it's being tested, I suppose. Uh, Patriots offense suddenly on the move here. Michael Gallup with the reception. James White looking for his second rushing touchdown of the game, and the Patriots, they are continuing to at least make this a game as Damian Harris finds the end zone very, very easily, so... Uh, once again, Patriots pull within two possessions. I think at this point, we just got to take away some clock. Just, you know, some low uh, like low yardage plays, right? Not too low, but like, you know, a little check down here and there. Just take away clock on this drive. Might be our biggest friend because I think our defense is starting to get a little bit exploited. That's a great first down play there. Antonio Callaway getting us a gain of eight yards. Next play, Davis Mills. Oh, 
Man, man, man. If we don't get this third down, we're going to be looking back at that play for sure. A miss open pass to Nico Collins. Here's Mills on third down, connecting. Oh, man, even that pass was a little bit off. But thankfully, Brandon Cooks is able to make the reception as Philip Lindsay with the cut inside. Whoa! Philip Lindsay said, pay me a new contract. If you're making moves like that, we'll have to consider it for sure. And we'll see if Philip Lindsay can take us all the way to the end of this game as we're starting to really chew that clock now. But a big third down coming up. Once again, a third down and short we've given Davis Mills a good chance to convert and that's easy pitch and catch David Johnson moved the chains keep the clock moving we'll see if the Patriots start using up some timeouts if they can stop Philip Lindsay who might have had a lane for a touchdown there but still gets a gain of a out the two minute warning Lindsay oh he's close but Kyle Van Noy is actually going to bring him down behind the line so it's third down in inches and Tebow is in the game as we switch to a goal line at the last second play clock winding down Patriots still not using timeouts we're going to go with Lindsay to ice the game oh couldn't get it Devin McCourty with the tackle and no field goal unit offense on the field Adrian Peterson in the backfield and we're gonna pitch it to Peterson Adrian Peterson's got the first down and that'll be the ball game AP's first touch as a Houston Texan is a memorable one Oh my, AP doing it himself to get the first down, and that is the ball game. Patriots ultimately never used their timeouts. I'm not sure why. The dude just conceded completely, didn't give himself even a sliver of chance, but hey, we'll take it, man. So, yeah, uh, a couple of new faces on this team, you know, a couple of uh, signings that we've had so far this season, Conley, Callaway, Peterson, just trying to put together this team, right? We're still learning this roster. We're still trying to figure out what works what players work where and Adrian Peterson has like a, a tough yardage back he might be a legitimate piece in this rotation and I actually did this Adrian Peterson signing before he got signed in real life by the uh, Tennessee Titans I just saw AP and free agency I was like hey I'll do it we actually cut Mark Ingram to bring Peterson in and uh, Peterson's already playing better than Mark Ingram on one rush but um yeah we get the victory against the uh, Patriots GG's to them and Unfortunately for the New England Patriots, they're not going to be the team that gets Deshaun Watson. All right, I, I looked at what the Patriots had, but I found the trade that worked better for us. All right, I found a trade that worked better for us. So next week, you guys are going to see what we got for Deshaun Watson. The trade is done. You guys are going to see right now. The trade is done. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more. I will catch you guys next time where we reveal what we got for Deshaun Watson and who we traded him to.